They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, Ben. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answers are. To the air, it's green. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. So if you're going to defend the slant route, you've got to be physical near the line of scrimmage. You saw that on defense there. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Throwing right. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. On second down, just keeps firing. Soft spot in the middle. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. That is a really good looking throw. You think about the expectation level now for quarterbacks in Georgia. Matthew Stafford was the number one pick overall. Stetson Bennett won two national championships. Imagine the pressure on this guy. But when you see throws like that, he makes you believe that he can step up and lead this team to yet another natty. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Looking for a man. It's back. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And it's caught! Touchdown, Georgia! This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. He's got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. And he made the extra point without problem. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. On second down, wants to throw it. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Northwestern. They take the lead with the six. And tight ends do so much for your offense. They block like crazy. You pull them, you use them all over the place. And when you've got a guy that can do this, it's just the cherry on top of the Sunday, making big plays, going half the field plus to get the big touchdown. And he added the extra point. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. 
Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Well, look what's happening now. Old Uncle Mo has hit the transfer portal and is changing sidelines. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. Well, this quarterback has struggled having already thrown two picks. That should have been number three. Somehow the defender dropped that one. Things not going well for this view. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Now the play fake. Fires downfield. And that is interception number three on the day. Got room on the return. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to set up his offense. He's just Johnny on the spot. That's now his second interception of the game, doing a great job reading the quarterback's eyes. And he's just been in the right place at the right time making plays. Shakes off the tackle. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. To the air, it's green. He's good! They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. Start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. At this point, the clock is like the 12th man on offense. I assume they'll keep it on the ground here. I would think so, too, but I also want to get the score and end this game. Like, that touchdown puts me up by two possessions. Ball game over. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Floating away. Into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Wildcats. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing, he's working defensively. You gotta figure something out. You gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He's got an alley. Can they catch him? He will score! Touchdown, dogs! Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. They're lining up to kick it off, full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. Here's the return from inside his tent. Oh, and now the ball has been knocked free. Wow, they narrowly avoid disaster there. They fumble the kick return, and if that goes to the other team, all the momentum is no longer with them, so a nice job being able to pounce back on that. The head coach breathing a huge sigh of relief. Wildcats have it back to Northwestern offense, headed out. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run out the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. Man, they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game, so I gotta get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is gonna be playing the run. They're gonna be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back, so this is gonna come down to who's better in the trenches. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
We've reached the two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. To the ground. He's got it again. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Leaves it with the running back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wants to throw. It's green. Dances away from the heat. He'll turn it loose out to the right. And it's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Northwestern! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field. Dang, Paul, bro. I wish I had played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks. It was just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for. Now first and 10 from the 40. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Going up top on first down. Catch open down the middle. Coming into this one, I thought this guy was going to be a monster. He was going to put up huge numbers. We know this is a big part of the offense week in, week out. The defense has done a great job clamping down on him. That is only his second catch so far in this game. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Dropping back, it's back. Quarterback adapting. Headed toward the end zone, and they knock it loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And they'll drag him down after a good return. Great job by the defense ending this ball game. Don't give him any life. Great job forcing the fumble. You already got the lead. You take the ball back with a little bit of time. Nail me coffee. They'll give it to the back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. You gotta believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. Leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. With the clock running, this should be the final play. The play action fake. He just kept going backwards. You have to step up, and they get him for a safety. Well, how about this one? A fun one. These guys came in as underdogs, and they walk out as the winner. They didn't care they were unranked. That's not what they were worried about. Oh, this team's ranked. They weren't looking at them any different. They were looking to come in and get the W and execute. Great job believing they could come, Jesse, and knock them off. Yeah, you're right, David. This team came in with something to prove, and they knew they had a national audience that was going to be paying attention to this game. What a great job going out under the lights, big-time stage against a ranked opponent, and really putting their A game out there on the field. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports.